today we're gonna to be diving into the world of lucrative work from home jobs. And I've been researching this topic for months and I think I've finally nailed down the perfect list of opportunities that pay at least $20 per hour. So let's get into it. But before we start, I wanna share some ground rules that I used when putting this list together. Number one, all of these jobs can be done entirely remotely. Number two, they all pay at least $20 per hour, no exceptions. Number three, these are real opportunities, not get rich quick schemes. And number four, I've either personally tried these jobs or I know somebody who has. All right, so let's kick things off with our first job, which is a job you probably know about, and that's going to be virtual assistant, but a very particular type of virtual assistant. Now, being a virtual assistant in general is kind of like being a Swiss army knife of the remote work world. You'll be doing everything from managing emails to scheduling appointments and even some light bookkeeping. And the best part, you can specialize in areas that you're passionate about. For instance, there's VAs out there that only work with fitness influencers. And this person has been a virtual assistant for 17 years, and she provides tips on how to source clients clients. And the truth is being a virtual assistant that specializes in certain industries is going to help you tremendously. For instance, if you're a virtual assistant for realtors or real estate agencies, you're going to learn specialized skills that are going to help you become more valuable for the people that you're working with. Now, here's a typical salary range of virtual assistants, and that comes out to being 17 to $27 per hour. So that means the average is around 22 to $23 per hour, which means you can definitely make above $20 per hour in this position. Now, some of the skills needed for this are organization, communication, basic tech skills, and the best place to find jobs for positions like this are going to be websites like Upwork, Fancy Hands, and Zirtual. Now before we go to the next one, make sure to hit that like button if you like the video topic. It really helps the channel grow. Next is going to be one of my absolute favorites, and it's one that I did myself, and that's an online tutor. And if you're knowledgeable in a subject and you love teaching, online tutoring could be your calling. And with the boom in remote learning, there's never been a better time to jump in. And this is something I've done at various times throughout my life, and the lowest that I ever charged was $20 per hour. And the trick here is to be a specialist and that's how you can charge much more than 20 per hour. For instance, in college, I charged 100 and even $180 per hour to tutor for a test called the PCAT, which is the pharmacy college admissions test. So as the old saying goes, the riches are in the niches. And if you can find very niche things to tutor on like that, that can be the best. Now here's what you can make yearly with this type of position. And the hourly pay is about 17 to $29 per hour, which means the middle range is gonna be around $24 per hour hour, so definitely above 20. Now, some of the skills you need here is expertise in your subject, patience, and a good internet connection. And the best places to find jobs are going to be VIP Kid, Chegg, and Tutor Me. Quick break. So I know you guys want to know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also want to know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pin comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be an SEO specialist. And everyone wants to be at the top of Google search results because that's where you can make a ton of money. And that's where SEO specialists come in. And if you can help companies improve their search engine rankings, you will never be short of work. This person, for instance, manages and works as an SEO specialist, optimizing websites to rank higher in search results and connecting businesses with potential customers online. Now the salary here can be very good. Here's the yearly salary and what this comes out to be per hour is about 20 to $36 per hour. So you're definitely going to be making more than $20 per hour in this position. So the skills needed here are, of course, an understanding of SEO or search engine optimization principles, analytical skills, and keeping up with algorithm changes. And some good places to find jobs would be Moz, SEM Rush and digital marketing agencies. And by the way, if you want to learn more about getting into digital marketing, because it's one of the careers that I recommend the most, there's actually going to be some free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. And this is the same training that's helped all of these people that I interviewed on the channel get digital marketing jobs. So definitely check it out. Number four is going to be a freelance writer. So if you got away with words, freelance writing might be your ticket to success. From blog posts to product descriptions, there's always someone looking for quality content. And I've actually made money doing this as well. And let me tell you it's a great way to build your skills and network and writing is such an important skill because when you get good at sort of synthesizing your thoughts on paper it's going to help you synthesize your thoughts in other places as well and here's the yearly salary and hourly that comes out to be about 20 to 32 dollars per hour which means you're almost certainly going to be making more than 20 dollars per hour now the skills needed here are of course strong writing skills research capabilities and time management and some really good places to get your foot in the door and find those first jobs are going to be contenta pro blogger and freelancer.com. 
Now, before we move on to the next one, I want to know your thoughts down below on writing now that AI is here. Personally, I still think it's a great skill to have. And as good as AI has gotten, it's always going to need someone to check it. And there's always going to be certain things that only human beings can do. But what do you think? I want to know your thoughts down below. Next is going to be a social media manager. And in today's digital age, every business needs a social media presence. And that's where you come in. You'll be creating content, engaging with followers, and maybe even running ad campaigns. And it's perfect if you're always on your phone anyways. And this one is actually really good if you're young and you grew up on social media because older people, even though they're more experienced, typically are not as good at social media because they didn't grow up on it. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. And the hourly rate comes out to be about 19 to $32 per hour. So again, very likely you'd be making at least $20 per hour. So the skills needed here would be an understanding of various social platforms, creativity, and basic graphic design. And some great places to find jobs would be LinkedIn, Indeed, and social media jobs. And by the way, if you're interested in social media jobs, maybe you might might also be interested in starting your own social media. For instance, being a YouTuber yourself, that's exactly what I did. And if that's something that interests you, I actually have a free crash course, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below that'll help you get started on YouTube. Next, let's talk about transcriptionists. And if you've got a good ear and fast typing skills, transcription could be your calling. And it's not just for the medical and legal fields anymore. There's a growing demand for podcast and YouTube transcriptions as well. Now, when it comes to transcription, you do want to make sure that you specialize in a particular type. For instance, you could be a medical transcriptionist or a legal transcriptionist. And you can even specialize further than that. For instance, you could be a transcriptionist that specializes in surgery specifically. And this is one of the easiest ones to get on the list, but it's also probably one of the ones that most people don't want to do for a very long amount of time. So it can be a good way for you to get your foot in the door, make some initial money right off the bat, but it may not be something that you want to do forever. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. But with that being said, the hourly pay here is 16 to $27 per hour. And that means the average is somewhere around $22 per hour. So you'd very likely be making more than $20. And the skills needed here are you have to be fast and accurate at typing, and you have to have good listening skills. And a great place to find a job would be Rev, Transcribe Me, and Go Transcript. Next is going to be an online fitness instructor. And the pandemic has revolutionized the fitness industry with many people preferring to work out from home. And if you're passionate about fitness and have an energetic personality, this could be a fun and rewarding job. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. So you're definitely gonna be making more than $20 per hour in this position. So the skills needed here would be fitness expertise, engaging personality, and basic video production skills. And a good place to find a job would be working at Peloton, for instance, or potentially starting your own YouTube channel, which by the way, again, free training is down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a web developer. And this one's for the tech savvy folks out there. So web development is always in demand and the pay can be seriously impressive. Plus you get the satisfaction of building something Something from scratch. So here's a story about someone who was in a really bad place when the pandemic hit. So they shifted to web development and that kind of saved them. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. So you're definitely going to be making more than $20 per hour in this position. So some of the skills needed would be, of course, knowing coding languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and also problem solving skills. And some good places to find jobs would be GitHub jobs, Stack Overflow jobs, and TopTal. And also just reaching out to people on LinkedIn as well. Next is going to be a graphic designer. And if you've got an eye for design, this one could be a perfect work from home job gig. From creating logos to designing entire websites, the possibilities are endless. And with tools like Canva, you don't even need to be a Photoshop wizard to get started. Now, there's many different types of graphic designers out there. You would definitely want to niche down and specialize in something. So for instance, you could specialize in designing YouTube thumbnails. And there's some people that are incredibly good at doing thumbnails out there. They get paid hundreds or even thousands of dollars per thumbnail. And here's how much you'd make in general per year. And hourly, that comes out to be about $22 to $36 per hour, which is definitely more than $20 per hour. Now the skills needed here are going to be creativity, knowledge of design software, and the ability to take feedback. Some places where you could find some initial jobs would be 99designs, Dribble, and Fiverr.com. Next, let's get into a job that everyone knows about, and that's customer service representative. Now I know what you're thinking, customer service, really? But hear me out. Many companies are moving their customer service teams remote, and they're paying pretty well for it. Plus, if you're a people person, it can be really rewarding. And think about it, companies are actually incentivized to do this because then they don't have to pay for those giant office buildings that everyone has to go to. Now, a huge tip for customer service is to, of course, specialize in a particular type of customer service. And this one is going to be one of the lower paying ones on the list. Here's what you make yearly and hourly. That comes out to be about 17 to $24 per hour. But with that being said, it's also one of the ones that's going to be the easiest to land on the list. So if you're someone who's in a pinch, you need to get a job right away. This is one where I've seen students that were even 16 years old be able to get a job within a matter of weeks. Is it going to be the best job you've ever had? Probably not. Is it going to be something you want to do for the rest of your life? 
Probably not, but it is relatively easy to land. So some skills needed here would be patience, problem solving skills, and clear communication. And a good place to find jobs would be Working Solution, Live Ops, and Amazon. Yes, that Amazon. Next is going to be an online ESL teacher. And if you're a native English speaker, you've already got the main skill you need for this job. Teaching English online has exploded in popularity, especially with students in Asia. And the hours can be super flexible. And this one can be especially good if you are multilingual. Now here's how much you'd typically get paid per year, and that translates to about 20 to $33 per hour. And the skills needed here are, of course, fluency in English, patience, and basic tech skills. And it also helps if you're good at teaching people. So some good places to start to find jobs would be EF Education First, QKids, and Italki. Now, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on these opportunities. Next is going to be a phenomenal career that's incredibly easy to get into. And this one's actually super hot in the US markets. And that is going to be a virtual bookkeeper. Yes, this is basically a type of accountant, but you don't have to get a degree or even get certified to become a bookkeeper. So you don't have to be a CPA. With some basic accounting knowledge and attention to detail, you can help small businesses keep their finances in order. And the best part, it's all done remotely. And there's also a lot of other accounting related jobs that are very similar to this. And I'll leave a link for some free training that you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below in order to get into these accounting jobs. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. And hourly, you make about 20 to $32 per hour. So it's definitely above $20 per hour. Now the skills needed here are basic accounting knowledge, organizations, and proficiency with bookkeeping software. And some good places to find jobs would be accountingdepartment.com, Robert Half, and Indeed. Now, if you find these tips helpful and you love that I'm showing you some of the best jobs out there, make sure to share them with your closest friends or anyone who would benefit from them. It would really help the channel and your friends will also love you. Next is going to be a virtual event planner. And with the rise of online events, virtual event planners are in high demand. You'll be coordinating speakers, managing tech platforms, and ensuring everything runs smoothly. And it's perfect if you're organized and love bringing people together. Now, here's how much you'd make yearly, and that comes out to be about $20 to $36 per hour. And the skills needed for this are organization, communication, and familiarity with the virtual event platforms. And there's a couple places you could go to get your first jobs. That would be LinkedIn, Eventbrite, and specialized job boards. Next is going to be a UX UI designer. And they're basically the unsung heroes of the digital world. They basically make sure that websites and apps are not just pretty, but also intuitive and easy to use. And if you've got an eye for design and a knack for understanding user behavior, this could be your calling. And here's how much you would make per year in this job. Now, hourly, you make about 28 to $50 per hour. So it's far above the $20 per hour mark. Now this one is a little bit harder to land than a lot of the other ones on the list. And the reason for that is because it's so desirable. You're basically getting paid to do art. So a lot of people wanna do that. And the skills you need here are of course, design skills, but also an understanding of user behavior. And you need to know how to use prototyping tools. And some good places to find jobs would be Behance, UX job boards, and tech startups. Next is going to be a data analyst. And in the age of big data, companies are always looking for people who can make sense of the numbers. And if you love of diving into spreadsheets and finding patterns, data analysis could be your perfect work from home career. So here's how much you'd make per year. And that comes out to be about 33 to $56 per hour. So this one pays extremely well. Plus there's other jobs down the line that you can go into that pay even better. Now this one still has a ton of demand, but it's also gotten a little bit more complicated and a little bit more competitive to get into it. But with that being said, you can still definitely break in. And the skills you need are statistical analysis, proficiency with tools such as Excel and SQL, and attention to detail. And some good places to find jobs would be data jobs, Kaggle, and of course, LinkedIn. Now, by the way, if you want to check out even higher paying jobs, I actually made a list of the highest paying remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.